So T is probably one of the greatest Ferraris that has ever been built. It is the ultimate all-rounder and it is the pinnacle of Grand Tourer. What's really noticeable about the Lusso is its size. From the outside it looks really long and quite big. However, on the inside, it just still feels exactly like any other two-seater Ferrari. And you've got those two seats in the back and the boot, but you're getting the same feeling, which is incredible. The Lusso is a great, versatile car. And when I mean versatile, it's an everyday use car. And that's the beauty of it. However, if you really want to put this thing to the test, if you really want to see what it goes like, there isn't a better place in the world than taking this on a short holiday to Germany. The Lusso is packed full of gadgetry and it takes a few days just to get used to some of the things, but it's incredible what you can do with this car with the settings. But the only thing that's really bugged me throughout the entire time that I've had this car are the indicators that are actually built into the steering wheel. For a start, you always seem to go to the stalk on the side, but it's not there. And secondly, when you're on a full lock on a roundabout and you want to indicate off, you just can't get your hand round on them. has five different modes and that includes a sport mode, a comfort mode, a wet mode and even an ice mode and obviously the mode that turns everything off and it's just you and the car. That's pretty incredible in itself however in addition to that this car also has four-wheel steer. On long distance drives the car couldn't be more comfortable. There's a comfort mode that you can set it in which is absolutely superb and it really does take out all the bumps and knocks that you're normally going to feel if you're in the sport mode. One of the things you would love about this car when you buy it is it has a massive panoramic roof. It's an extra, it doesn't come as part of the package, but oh my god is it worth it. It's just beautiful. 